designer, and philanthropist, former supermodel Boris Kojo has graced the silver screen, starred in television and feature films, and performed on Broadway. This multi-talented family man is dedicated to his future. Now, on Leading Men, Boris Kojo. People don't realize that I don't think in, in English, I think in German, so while I'm speaking, I'm translating. I'm a German actor who has managed to lose his accent to a point where people actually believe him as a lawyer from Philly. So that sometimes stings, you know, when you get that sexy, handsome dude, when it takes so much for me to be able to pull that off. I came to the U.S. when I was 19, and I came because I was uh, playing professional tennis, and I suffered a severe back injury, and my career was cut short. It knocked the wind out of him, and he talks about, though, how he had to change gears. It's like your whole world crumbles, and uh, my mother sent me away, so I came to the States, to VCU, Virginia Commonwealth, in Richmond, Virginia and they had an all-international team. Our family was one of the sponsors of one of the tennis scholarships, and Boris was like uh, the, the person that we sponsored. He was number seven in the world in junior tennis, and he is still a remarkable tennis player. I go over to the house, and there's Serena Williams, and I'm like, you're that good? <laughs> and, and But then I realized that, wait a second, I, he's helping Serena Williams. He was on a level to play with, play for fun with Serena Williams. Tennis got him here. His good looks, his personality got him into modeling. The modeling thing happened by accident. Um, I was in New York for a couple of days and I was walking down the street and uh, she, she gave me a card and she was with the Ford Modeling Agency. And her name was Rita Valentine. She said, look, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a modeling agent and um, you know, we should talk, and uh, actually, um, this great photographer lives across the street, and you should come with me over there, and, and maybe I'll take a Polaroid of you and see what happens, and that happens to be Bruce Weber, and Bruce Weber is a really good, good photographer, to say the least, and uh, he started me in the business. I had a ball, you know, I had a great time, Paris and London and, and, and Milan and all these uh, exotic islands, you know, for photo shoots, and they, I mean, I was like in my early 20s, it was perfect. I think he just ran with it. He never took it seriously. He made a lot of money. He was young, he was beautiful, he was in New York, and uh, they ate him up. We were doing a test shoot. It was, it was him and a female model that I knew. He's very serious about work. He's punctual. He's German. He's about business. Always has been. You have to be ready all the time, and you have to be uh, exuberant, you have to be enthusiastic, and you have to be uh, uh, happy and, and positive, and yes, I want to do it, and yes, I'm ready. I remember when I left Richmond, Virginia to move to Beverly Hills, and I get a phone call from Boris, and he goes, Mike, he said, Mike, I think I want to move to Beverly Hills to begin a career in acting. I said, well, come live with me. I don't see modeling to acting as a transition. I, I see it more as a complete, like a, like a new beginning. In modeling, you're cheating a moment. <laughs> And in acting, you're 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 really you're telling a real story. You know, you're creating a real character in a in a real environment with real people. I was so proud of Boris in Soul Food, but just um, going on location in Toronto and working, you know, those long hours. They were up there giving us some really great drama. My modeling agent called me and said that the, the Paramount was looking for this guy for this new TV series, and they couldn't find him. And, so they figured, hey, why, you know, why don't you send Boris and see, you know, he can come in and read. So I raced to Paramount, run, ran in there, and, and I auditioned quickly. And half an hour later, they told me I had, I had the job and I had to leave for Canada, like, the next day. 
So I found myself in Toronto, fish out of water, um, new environment, new actors. They looked at me sort of like, yeah, this model guy, blah, blah. I, I always say that I was an acting snob, <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, I just, you know, because I loved it. And here comes this supermodel walking in, like barely paying attention, you know, to the lines. I was just, oh, I had no time for him, but in a nice way. He asked me for a lot of advice. He was like, okay, where do I stand? We were kissing and Eric LaSalle was directing the pilot and uh, he was like, cut, it was very late. And he said, guys, it's just, you aren't kissing, basically. You gotta kiss. So I'm gonna reset up the lights and get it from a different angle and talk amongst yourselves. So I took him behind the set and I said, and I grabbed his face and I said, this is a kiss. And I kissed him and then I walked away. And then Eric was like, okay, back to one. And action, and Boris was like, wow. I saw something there. Whether they were doing anything or not, I doubt it because, you know, he was with somebody, she was with somebody, and they would never cheat on their other people. My big concern is, you know, you know, poop where you sleep. It's important to be careful about having relationships on a show at work because when the show ends, what happens, and it can create issues. Right after Soul Food, Boris and I got our own sitcom. The second time around, I, I remember being very proud to be there for their, uh, their premiere episode, and seeing Boris just go from you know, model to now he's tackling comedy. The dude's timing is immaculate. Like, the inner Boris doesn't match the outer Boris. Like, that little chocolate armor he has, Inside is a little funny Jewish man uh, running the machine that's bored. Love and Basketball was a trip because I, it was so unreal. First film set and, and um, at the same time it was, it was exciting. Brown Sugar, I thought he was very, very good. You know, in a way now, I look at Boris as a brother, so whenever I see him in some of these little sexy, sexy Rexy parts, I get a little bit of, you know, ooh. But he sells it. Medea's family reunion was a great experience for me. Tyler Perry, first of all, is a, is a, is a genius. My favorite portrayal of Boris is uh, in Medea's family reunion because uh, it's, it's, just, it's something that's near and dear to my heart. The hardworking man who has all the integrity in the world. The Gospel was a, was a very, very difficult movie for me. You have that guy from the German Black Forest, you know, who plays this, 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 this son of this preacher who grows up in the church and sings gospel music. And my mother to this day is like, how did you pull that off? He works very hard to, to uh, portray the authenticity of, of a regular black man. You don't just stand on the Broadway stage with James Earl Jones um, if you're the sexy, handsome guy coming from where I came from, with a dialect that, that people in the north of Germany couldn't even understand. I think when Boris first um, heard back from Debbie Allen that um, she wanted him to play the part in uh, Cat on Hot Tim, I think that really validated a lot of things for him. Because, you know, I wasn't on the list, you know. So first, um, you know, Jamie Foxx gets the offer and then he turns it down and then Terrence Howard gets the offer, so I wasn't on that list. And I called her up and I asked her, I said, look, if um, if you list, if you let me audition, I, I would love to fly myself in and audition for you. He knew what that meant for his development. That's just a maturity. And she said, sure. And so I did, and I came, and, and, uh, and I'm so glad I did. And I really am so thankful to her because uh, she wasn't one of those people who just said, ah, oh, that's the handsome guy. He takes everything seriously in terms of also trying to let you forget he's this pretty ass dude. Being who he is, this six foot four, you know, model, sometimes he isn't taken seriously. Boris has a passion to, to grow. Uh, and you only grow by pushing yourself and doing things that you haven't done before or that you're not comfortable doing.